Hey guys, it's the Chad. Well, if I'm not out working or buying old junk 67 to 72 Chevy pickups, I'm usually inside working on the house. Now, one of the only ways my better half lets me bring home all this yard art is if I promise to do some house maintenance or a full basement remodel. Now, it's super windy outside and there's not many projects I can get done outdoors, so I'm going to try to score some brownie points and check a few things off the old honeydew list. One of the things that I've been kind of procrastinating on is changing out the last bathroom exhaust fan. Now our house is 30 plus years old and it's starting to need some maintenance. Now it's not uncommon for the exhaust fans or any appliance in the house to start showing some wear or just eventually quit. Well in today's video I'm going to show you guys how easy it can be to go through and take out the junk parts that don't work in your existing fan and replace them with new stuff in less than five minutes. In less than 10 minutes. Yeah. Well, before we get going, I understand that it may be a little intimidating for some of you guys to change out your own exhaust fans, but don't be scared. This is a pretty easy task. If you have the confidence to shut off the correct breaker, use a flat blade screwdriver, and open a cardboard box, that's about the skill set you need. There's no reason to go waste your hard-earned money on hiring a repairman, because more than likely they're going to charge you $200 plus for a $17 part that you could have changed out in 10 minutes. If you don't trust me, let's see if you can do it. So if we take a look at our existing fart fan, this one is a Broen flavor. Now it's 33, if not 34 years old. And some of the problems I'm having is when I turn the switch on, nothing happens. Other times it just growls at me because it's old and angry. And other times it'll run for a minute or two and then just shut off. But before I burn our house down, I'm just gonna swap it out. Now the parts you'll need is a flat blade screwdriver and one of these universal Broen 688 exhaust fans. Now this is a whole assembly, but we're only gonna rob certain parts out of it. You can pick these up at Lowe's. I paid $16.97 for this guy. So let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is make sure you've cut the power at the breaker box and then test the switch, make sure it doesn't turn on. Now, if you're not familiar with these assemblies, this is just an outer decorative grill. And to remove that, there's two wires on each side. Just come up here. And you squeeze these guys together and it'll drop down out of the housing. And then you can go to the other side. Now this may be full of lint and dirt, so be careful. And then just pull it down. So the next thing you'll want to do is come through and unplug the motor from the actual fan assembly. Now we won't be taking the entire box out of the ceiling, we'll just be taking the motor assembly out. So on one side of the assembly there's a single tab and on the other there's two. So we're going to go through and pry the single tab out first, out of the groove. Then you can come in on the other side and pop the other two out. Kind of got to push up as you do that to slide it up and out of the grooves. And don't worry, you're going to eat some uh, popcorn. So this is what you're left with after you get the fan assembly out. Now you can see that the outlet is still there. Now, the reason why I don't go through and change the whole fan and box out is because most of the time it is screwed or nailed into the studs behind the drywall. And that's just a real pain. So if you can go through and just swap the fan assembly, that would be the route that I would take. So when we open up the box, this is what you're gonna get. A brand new fan assembly and the mounting box, a nice white decorative grill, and the instructions. Yeah, I wonder who reads those. Probably the people that install it right the first time. Now, you can see this is our old fan assembly and our new one looks just like it. Now we're gonna have to go through and pop out this fan assembly out of the mounting box. That way we can stick it up in the existing one. Now I know a lot of people are gonna ask the question, how do I know if this Broan, Broan, however you pronounce it, 688 is gonna fit in your existing box? Well, sometimes it's a trial and error. Just go buy one at Lowe's, take it home, take yours out, and see if it'll fit in there. Now mine, if you actually take a look, you can see that mine is a Broen. If you look closely there, it is a model number 688. So this is an exact match. So now we'll just go through and install it in the reverse order. Ugh. 
All right. So the last thing is to go through and put your decorative grill back on. And slide it straight up. Maybe. So I've got the breaker back on and I just think this grill looks a lot more modern than this 30 plus year old one. So let's test the switch, see if she works. Oh yeah. I think she's a lot quieter too. Let's give it the tissue test, make sure we installed it right. Yep, she sucks. So now I've got everything put back together and hopefully after watching my video, you guys have the confidence to swap out your own exhaust fans. Now, if you've ever run into problems doing this or you have a better way, type it down in the old clickety clack. While you're there, smash the like button and subscribe. That really helps me out. I appreciate your time. Thanks for watching. I think I'll just test this out.